aunt, some of the cowherd boys, Sri Dama, the very close friend of Rama and Krishna, along with Subala, Stoka, Krishna, and others, lovingly spoke the following words. O oh, Rama, Rama, mighty armed one, O oh, Krishna, destroyer of the miscreants, not far from here is a very great forest filled with rows of palm trees. In that Talavana forest, many fruits are falling from the trees, and many are already lying on the ground, but all the fruits are being guarded by the evil Danuka. O oh, Rama, O oh, Krishna, Danuka is a most powerful demon, and has assumed the form of a donkey. He is surrounded by many friends who have assumed a similar shape and who are just as powerful as he. The demon Denaka has eaten men alive, and therefore all people and animals are terrified of going to the Tala forest or get around the enemy. Even the birds are afraid to fly there. But we can smell the fragrance of the Tala fruits spreading all about. Oh Krishna, please get those fruits for us. Our minds are so attracted by their aroma. The Imbalarama, our desire to have those fruits is very great. If you think it's a good idea, Let's go to that Tala forest. Hearing the words of their dear companions, Krishna and Balarama laughed, and desiring to please them, set off for their Talavana surrounded by their cowherd friends. Lord Balarama entered the Tala forest first. Then, with his two arms, he began forcefully shaking the trees with the power of a maddened elephant, causing the Tala fruits to fall to the ground. Hearing the sound of the falling fruits, the donkey demon Danaka ran forward to attack making the earth and trees tremble. The powerful demon rushed up to the Lord Baladeva and sharply struck the Lord's chest with his hooves of his hind legs. Then Danaka began to run about, braying loudly. Moving again towards Lord Balarama, O king, the furious donkey situated himself with his back towards the Lord. Then screaming in rage, the demon hurled his two hind legs at him. Lord Balarama seized Danaka by these hooves, whirled him about with one hand, and threw him into the top of a palm tree. The violent weeding motion killed the demon. Lord Balarama threw the dead body of Danukathora into the tallest palm tree in the forest, and when the dead demon landed in the tree top, the tree began shaking. The great palm tree, causing a tree by its side also to shake, broke under the weight of the demon. The neighbouring tree caused yet another tree to shake, and this one struck yet another tree, which also began shaking. In this way, many trees in the forest shook and broke. Lord Balarama's pastime of throwing the body of the donkey demon into the top of the tallest palm tree, all the trees began shaking and striking against one another as if blown about by powerful winds. My dear Parikshit, that Lord Balarama killed Denakasura is not such a wonderful thing, considering that he is the unlimited personality of Godhead, the controller of the entire universe. Indeed, the entire cosmos rests upon him just as the woven cloth rests upon its own horizontal and vertical threads. The other donkey demons, close friends of the Nakasura, were enraged upon seeing his death, and thus they all immediately ran to attack Krishna and Balarama. O king, as the demons attacked, Krishna and Balarama easily seized them one after the other by their hind legs and threw them all into the tops of the palm trees. The earth then appeared beautifully covered with heaps of fruits and with the dead bodies of the demons, which were entangled in the broken tops of the palm trees. Indeed, the earth shone like the sky decorated with clouds. Hearing of this magnificent feat of the two brothers, the Vibhuta Adya rained down flowers and offered music and prayers in glorification. People now felt free to return to the forest where Danuka had been killed, and without fear they ate the fruits of the palm trees. Also the cows could now graze freely upon the grass there. Then the lotus-eyed Sri Krishna, whose glories are most pious to hear and chant, returned home to Vraja with his elder brother Balarama. Along the way, the cowherd boys, his faithful followers, chanted his glories.